Knowing our lesser qualities, accepting what we have been and what we have done is not a death sentence. We can change. We will change when we have a higher power in our lives to deal with self-centered fear and ask him to remove those newly uncovered and discovered shortcomings. First, we'll start with a serenity prayer. Today's reading from the 24 Hours a Day book, a share, then the reading again in case you got distracted. Carpe the diem. Enjoy. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Consider, do we realize we are God's miracles, and in order to keep it, we have to pass it on? May 6th, thought for the day. I've noticed that the ones who do the most for Alcoholics Anonymous are not in the habit of boasting about it. The danger of building myself up too much is that, if I do, I'm in danger of having a fall. That pattern of thought goes with drinking. If one side of a boat gets too far up out of the water, it's liable to tip over. Building myself up and drinking go together. One leads to the other. So, if I'm going to stay sober, I've got to keep small. Have I got the right perspective on myself? Meditation for the day. The way sometimes seems long and weary. So many people today are weary. The weariness of others must often be shared by me. The weary and the heavy laden, when they come to me, should be helped to find the rest that I have found. There is only one sure cure for world weariness, and that is turning to spiritual things. In order to help bring about the turning of the weary world to God, I must dare to suffer, dare to conquer selfishness in myself, and dare to be filled with spiritual peace in the face of all the weariness of the world. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may be a help to discouraged people. I pray that I may have the courage to help bring about what the weary world needs but does not know how to get. Humble, not proud or haughty, not arrogant. We stay sober by being humble servants. We do not seek fame or notoriety because it is not about us. We are grateful to be alive and sober, and we now know it is better to give than to receive. Doing service of any kind for the act of helping is how we stay on the spiritual plane. We thrive in service unselfishly because when we were drinking, we only thought of ourselves and it was never satisfying. Now, when we think of others and how we can help meet their needs, we want to help. It is a pleasure to be useful to those who need and want the help. It is about the journey, not the destination. We enjoy the process of helping. We thought it was all about reaching the so-called destination of getting sober, and now we've learned it's about staying sober by aligning our wills with our higher powers and welcoming the new prospects into the program. We stay right-sized. He is in charge, and we are his agents. Humility defined. We know who we are today, and we love it. Acceptance is key. Sometimes it isn't appreciated by those we try to carry the message to, and that is not ideal, but we do not let it defer us from our new way of life. No matter what, we stay sober by trying to help others. Step 12 says, having had a spiritual awakening as the results of the steps, we try, we try to carry the message to other alcoholics and to practice these principles in all our affairs. It isn't about us. We don't take insults or their lack of sobriety personally, just as we don't take credit when our prospects stay sober. It is a find God program, not so much a stop drinking program, even though it's called Alcoholics Anonymous. When we practice the principles in all our affairs, we live the program in our daily lives, and others notice we react sanely to tricky situations. Our fear-based living is a thing of the past. We pray for the suffering alcoholics and for their higher power to make them miracles the way our higher powers 
made us sober miracles. Consider, do we realize we are God's miracles and in order to keep it, we have to pass it on? May 6th, thought for the day. I've noticed that the ones who do the most for Alcoholics Anonymous are not in the habit of boasting about it. The danger of building myself up too much is that, if I do, I'm in danger of having a fall. That pattern of thought goes with drinking. If one side of a boat gets too far up out of the water, it's liable to tip over. Building myself up and drinking go together. One leads to the other. So, if I'm going to stay sober, I've got to keep small. Have I got the right perspective on myself? Meditation for the day. The way sometimes seems long and weary, so many people today are weary. The weariness of others must often be shared by me. The weary and the heavy laden, when they come to me, should be helped to find the rest that I have found. There is only one sure cure for world weariness, and that is turning to spiritual things. In order to help bring about the turning of the weary world to God, I must dare to suffer dare to conquer selfishness in myself, and dare to be filled with spiritual peace in the face of all the weariness of the world. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may be a help to discouraged people. I pray that I may have the courage to help bring about what the weary world needs but does not know how to get. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.